a breakthrough for scientists after they had a 20 minute conversation with a humpback whale. Whale language patterns just got decoded by AI and it's making experts reconsider every single thing we know about life. These giants have been talking behind our backs for millions of years. This discovery is a total game changer for how we define intelligence. Researchers at Project SETI are using artificial intelligence to decode the clicks. The crazy part is that these giants have brains six times larger than ours. We're diving into the tech that cracked the code and the mystery of what these titans are actually saying. It's not just noise anymore. It's a living, breathing culture with its own rules and history that we're just starting to learn. Whispers from the deep. The silent world of the ocean just got a lot louder. For a long time, we thought the deep blue was a place of peace and quiet, but that was just because we didn't have the right ears to hear what was going on. A team of geniuses just proved that whales are using a complex language with its own vowels and rhythms. This isn't just about animals making noise, it's a breakthrough for scientists after they had a 20-minute conversation with a humpback whale. They aren't just singing, they're chatting, arguing, and sharing history using a system called Rubato. This discovery is a total game changer for how we define intelligence. The crazy part is that these giants have brains six times larger than ours. They've been talking behind our backs since the dawn of time. We're diving into the tech that cracked the code and the mystery of what these titans are actually saying. AI is meeting marine giants in a way that feels like science fiction. The ocean has always been a place of mystery, but what we just found changes the entire story of life on our planet. For thousands of years, humans looked at whales as just big animals. They were resources for oil and bone, but we were totally wrong. Deep beneath the waves, an ancient conversation has been happening in rapid clicks and whistles. These are messages passed between giants with minds we can't even fully imagine yet. Scientists are now using the most advanced artificial intelligence ever made to listen like never before. What they've uncovered is something no one would have guessed in a million years. It's a completely new way to understand communication between intelligent life forms right here on Earth. Basically, since we first started exploring the sea, the ocean held its secrets tight. For centuries, sailors who came home told wild stories about sea monsters and ghosts. More realistically, they talked about the haunting melodic calls of whales. People used to think these sounds were just part of the ocean's background noise. It was beautiful, but it felt empty of meaning. These animals were admired for their size, but we never truly believed they had minds that could match their massive bodies. For a long time, they were just things to hunt for blubber and corsets. But everything changed during a single unexpected event that started a revolution in how we see the deep. It's not that simple, though, because we had to wait for technology to catch up to our curiosity. The truth about their history is even wilder than we imagined. Changing Ocean Narrative in the 1970s, the world finally woke up. A quiet discovery was made that would flip our understanding of the ocean upside down. Scientists studying marine life took a sudden interest in humpback whales. They went out to sea to record these animals, and what they found was astonishing. The moans and groans of these giants weren't random at all. They were intricate songs that evolved over time, sometimes lasting for several hours. These recordings were saved and put into an album called Songs of the Humpback Whale. This documentation was the spark that caught the public's eye and captured everyone's imagination. This one album actually helped start a global movement that saved these creatures from disappearing forever. As researchers went deeper into bioacoustics, which is just a fancy way of saying the study of animal sounds, they ended up with more questions than answers. Early researchers used basic tools and spent forever listening and trying to find patterns. They couldn't quite figure out what the sounds meant. There were theories that the songs were just simple calls for help or mating rituals. For decades, we could only guess because we were held back by the massive amount of data and our own limited senses. We could hear the sounds, but we didn't have the tools to actually translate them. This is where a man named Dr. David Gruber came in with an idea that sounded like something out of a movie. Dr. Gruber is a marine biologist who thought that to understand whales, we needed to stop using old tools. He looked at a totally different field for inspiration. He looked at the search for aliens in space, or SETI. The idea behind SETI is to listen for signals from the stars in hopes of hearing a message from another world. 
Dr. Gruber thought, what if we've been looking for aliens in all the wrong places? He believed that a different kind of intelligence could be right here on our own planet swimming in the ocean. This crazy idea was the birth of Project SETI, which stands for the Cetacean Translation Initiative. This wasn't just a small project, it was the start of a mission to do the impossible and create a two-way conversation with another species. But here's the catch. Talking to a whale is not as easy as it sounds. You can't just jump in the water and start chatting. Wait until you see how they actually gather the data. Listening to the Abyss To truly connect with whales, the team needed a place where the giants and the technology could meet. They chose the island of Dominica, a place that feels like it was designed for this specific mission. It's a volcanic island with waters that drop off into extreme depths just a few miles from the shore. This unique geography allows sperm whales to swim incredibly close to the land. It makes them much easier to study than in the middle of the open ocean. Not only that, but the island has a stable population of whales that return year after year. It's basically a natural laboratory where scientists can get to know individual whales by name. The team Dr. Gruber built was unlike anything ever seen in science. It was a mix of marine biologists, computer scientists, linguists, and even robotic experts. They were all united by the same wild goal to crack the code of whale communication. This alliance was exactly what the project needed because understanding these voices was too big for just one group to solve. At the center of it all were people like Shane Giro, a man who spent over a decade living in the water with these animals. He didn't just study them. He knew their families and watched their babies grow up. This personal connection became the foundation for the entire project. One of the biggest hurdles was actually getting the sound. You can't exactly ask a whale to hold a microphone. So the team came up with a bold plan to build an underwater recording studio. They created a grid of hydrophones, which are just underwater microphones on the seafloor. These sensors are placed in a pattern covering about 40 feet by 40 feet. They work 24 hours a day catching every single click and whistle. It's like having a room where the walls are covered in microphones that can hear a pin drop. Because of this grid, the team can pinpoint exactly which whale is talking and who they're talking to. To get even closer, they used a fleet of robotic drones. Since whales are sensitive, the robots were designed to be quiet and non-invasive. They use suction cups to attach small tags to the whale's backs. These tags are packed with sensors that record audio, heart rates, and even how the whale moves in the water. This data is the key to understanding the context of their speech. If a whale makes a specific sound while diving deep to hunt, it might mean something different than when they're floating at the surface with their family. This behavioral data gives the AI the clues it needs to figure out the why behind the noise. By 2020, Project CETI was officially moving. They got a massive boost from a major funding group that gave them $33 million to get started. This money allowed them to build the team and the technology needed to process the information. In the past, researchers might have collected a few hours of sound, but now they're collecting millions and billions of vocalizations. They're building the largest library of whale sounds in human history. This scale is super important because AI models need huge amounts of data to find patterns. They learn by example, and the more examples they have, the smarter they become. The data started streaming in like a never-ending flood of information. But at first, it was just noise. It was raw data without any clear meaning, a vast ocean of clicks waiting to be decoded. The sensors had listened and the tags had recorded, but the language remained a total mystery. The real magic only happened when this mountain of sound was fed into a machine that could think faster than any human. Everything changed when the computer started seeing patterns that were invisible to us. Marine Life Grammar To a human ear, the deep ocean sounds like a mess of static and pops. Trying to find a pattern in that noise is basically impossible for our brains. The first big job for the AI was to turn all that audio into something it could actually see. They used a process to turn sound waves into pictures called spectrograms. This allowed the AI to look at the visual shapes of the whale's voices. The AI's first task was to sort through these images and find codas. These are short sequences of clicks that sperm whales use to talk to each other. By ignoring the background noise of the waves and boats, the AI could focus on the real conversation. This is where the power of machine learning really showed off. 
The team used advanced tech like neural networks, which are designed to learn the same way a human child does. The AI wasn't given a list of rules for whale language because we didn't know any. Instead, it was fed millions of whale codas and told to find its own rules. By studying these millions of bursts of sound, the system slowly started to notice things. It learned which sounds usually went together and how they changed depending on the situation. It was like watching a computer teach itself a language from scratch, only it was doing it a million times faster than any person could. The AI soon started noticing tiny differences in the clicks that no human could ever hear. It could detect small changes in rhythm and tempo. It found that whales use a complex system that works almost like an alphabet. Even though they don't have letters, they use variables like rhythm and something called ornamentation. Ornamentation is just extra little clicks at the start or end of a message. The way they combine these pieces creates an incredible number of unique words. For example, a steady rhythm might mean one thing, but if the whale speeds it up or adds a tiny click at the end, the whole meaning changes. This discovery totally destroyed the old idea that only humans could have complex language. It showed that whales have a structured system where they can rearrange different parts to create a huge vocabulary. This was the moment everyone had been waiting for. For the first time in history, we had a window into the actual grammar of another species. We could see the building blocks, but we still had to figure out what they were actually saying. This is where the project got even more interesting and a little bit spooky. Most people thought that if whales had a language, it would be simple, like food here or watch out. But the AI revealed that it was much deeper. The patterns weren't tied to simple commands. They were tied to social lives. Whales weren't just talking to survive. They were talking to be together. They have different dialects depending on which family or clan they belong to. Just like someone from New York sounds different than someone from Texas, whales from different clans have their own accents. The AI could actually tell which family a whale belonged to just by listening to the way it clicked. This meant the language was a living, breathing part of their culture. It's passed down from mothers to their babies over generations. A single word could have many meanings depending on who said it and how fast they said it. We were no longer just looking at animals. We were looking at a society with its own history and identity. The idea of a whale chatbot sounds crazy, but the results are undeniably real. If we can finally talk to the giants of the deep, will they ever forgive us for our past? What do you think they'll tell us first? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe for more mysteries of the deep. Thanks for watching.